I'm Nicole Bremner, the founder of East 8 and London Central Developments. And I don't, I don't know if you've ever had a dream, but five years ago, my dream, as I sat in my brand accelerator, listening to all these amazing people, Daniel and his team, and the people standing up here, my dream was to actually stand here and give this talk. And I'm gonna get a bit emotional because I'm here. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the reason that that's so remarkable is, as, as Daniel can attest to, I actually couldn't speak in front of a group up until a couple of years ago. I was the quiet one that sat at the back of the KPI, letting the stronger alpha characters, I guess, uh, take the limelight while I sat there just absorbing things. I didn't have a voice. And the reason that I didn't is because I'd come out of a kind of a mediocre career in investment banking as an equity analyst. And coming out of that in the 2008 sort of global financial crisis and then having three children in three years back to back, it really, it really damages your confidence and it gives you a knock. And part of me doing the KPI process was to try and rebuild myself and try to look at what it was that I could and how I could actually develop my business and develop my own self-confidence. It's really interesting that uh, if you talk to many people who've done the KPI, which I hope you do, there's one P which stands out for all of them. And for me, it was partnership. When I started the KPI, I'd always done a property. That's my, my business. And I'd always done one or two properties just as a hobby. It was just a way of me reinvesting the, the finances, the family finances, and sort of keeping me occupied so I wasn't just a, a lady who lunched. So um, when I came on the KPI, I, I didn't actually know that property could be a serious business for someone like, my, like myself. I thought it was the Galliards, the Barclay Homes, etc., who did property. I thought people like me just sort of renovated a little bit and had um, a couple of investment properties. But after I did the partnership day, I was introduced by my architect to an experienced property developer. And he proposed a joint venture with me. Now I know that had I have not done that partnership day, there's no way that I would have invested half a million pounds with a near stranger to actually do this partnership. But my goodness, did it change my life. My first property that I did when I was in the KPI, it was an interesting property. It was a, I did a flat to house conversion, which is opposite to what most people do. And the, the house smelt like pee and mold and had some questionable greenery in the backyard. <laughs> Uh, so we, we did a really good job of that and sold it in 10 days. Obviously, the market was hot back in 2012 as well. Cleaned it up, sold it on for a half a million pound profit. Then we had to reinvest that money, obviously. So that's where this joint venture came in with my new uh, investment partner, my new partner, Avi. That went so well, our first joint venture, that we then bought more and more and more properties. We made a million pound profit on that second one that we did together. We're in the process of doing another one. It's going to make a profit of around five million. We're now working on over 11 projects across London, varying in size from single flats in South Kensington and Mayfair, right through to building 40 flats in Luton, 170 odd flats in uh, Brent Cross, and all over London. So the business has grown beyond belief. And the reason for that is my very first partnership and then getting the product right. We develop properties that people aspire to live in. And by having our properties set slightly higher than the market, it feeds directly into our profit. It means that we can break the ceiling prices of properties anywhere that we go into the area. So that was the first two Ps that sort of took care of themselves really after I took a, an active step into partnerships. What then happened, interestingly, is that my profile started to raise because being a woman in property is quite unusual. There's not so many of us. And people started to see, who's this woman out there buying all these properties? And uh, they, they were curious, of course. So I was asked to speak. Now, being someone who could not put two words together without stuttering, it was 
quite a big step, and I still to this day do not know why I accepted the invitation, but in October 2015, I got up in front of uh, a women in business and women in property uh, group, and I loved it. <laughs> I, had, I got out there and just thought, wow, now I know why people love public speaking. And it was just such a turning point because it was a mindset that I had to get over. I really had to just sit there and talk to myself and say, come on, you can do this. The worst thing you can do is get up onto stage be uncomfortable and nervous and people feel sorry for you. So I got up there and did it. I then spent the next 18 months talking at various events in my own sort of haphazard style and I spoke and what happened then is that my profile grew and grew and grew. And then Marina came on board in April last year to help with, with growing that profile for the business and personally, which is equally as important. And we... Uh, we then experienced this growth in recognition and profile. What it also meant, very interestingly, that people wanted to invest with us. And we had so many people offering us money that we didn't, and still to this day, don't have enough projects to put them into. So we were looking at ways to capture that money. And we looked at many different options, because obviously there's very tight FCA regulations around taking retail investor funds. And we, we discovered crowdfunding. And in October last year, we raised 1.4 million in uh, nine days for one of our projects. Then a couple of weeks later, we raised another 739,000, I think, in a couple of weeks. Two weeks ago, we raised 1 million in four and a half hours. And next week, we're doing our largest yet, and we're raising, we will raise 2 million in a couple of hours, I'm sure of it, just based on the demand we've got out there. So we're in this really interesting situation now where we are so oversubscribed. And the reason for that is profile. Because we're so prolific across all the social media platforms, including Snapchat, which does really well for us, people touch us on all these different platforms. They see us speak, they see us at events, and they know us, and they trust us, and they want to do business with us. And, and that's just as a result of growing the profile. The very last P to fall into place has been publish. And I'm a little bit busy, as you can imagine. So I, I knew that I had to plan this out meticulously. So last summer, I took the process that Lucy and Joe have at Rethink Press, and I mapped out my book down to exactly the order I wanted all my chapters and what content they were going to be. And Lucy's put a, a brilliant system there. And I knew that I couldn't write it until winter when I was away skiing with my family. So uh, three weeks away skiing with the kids and I was able to uh, write the book in 11 days. And really by following that system, it actually writes itself. It's, not, it's really not that difficult. I'm not a writer. It's not gonna be a masterpiece. I'm not gonna sell thousands of copies. But what I now have is a branding document that tells my story so I don't have to be out there at nighttime speaking and telling my story, my book is actually doing all that work for me. And it's really interesting because all of you would have heard that saying, it's often attributed to all different people, that uh, it takes years of hard work to become an overnight success. And as you know, the, the entrepreneurial journey can be a lonely one, it can be a really difficult one full of blood, sweat and tears. And I definitely have my fair share of, uh, or more than my fair share of tears. But what the KPI program has done for me is provided a system, a framework, guidelines, a process in which I can approach my entrepreneurial journey and it just smooths it out and makes it easy and makes me look like an overnight success. And I really hope that in five years' time and hopefully even sooner, you too can be up here telling your success story. Thank you.